Good morning, Bands. On 18's last episode, we'll learn about some more BCC history, watch some bloopers from season two, relive 2018's historic four years, and meet the new cast. I'm Abby Hopkins. And I'm Jay Zimmer. And, and you're, you're watching, watching BCC TV. Okay, Jay, what's going on in the news this week? The royal wedding took over the headlines this past weekend as Prince Harry married his American fiancée, Meghan Markle. A 17-year-old carrying a shotgun and a revolver opened fire at Santa Fe High School in Texas last Friday. Ten people were killed and at least 13 others were wounded. Deadpool 2 won the domestic box office this weekend with an estimated $125 million opening weekend. That was enough to knock the Avengers Infinity War off the top spot, which it had held for three weeks. In BCC News, next Monday is Memorial Day, so don't show up to school. Graduation is the following day, Tuesday the 29th, so everyone who's not a senior, enjoy your four-day weekend. Seniors, be sure to show up on time for graduation. We will be expected to be there at 8.30 a.m., and the ceremony will start at 10. Senior pictures will be taken in three weeks for the class of 2019, so juniors, be sure to mark your calendars for June 11th, 12th, and 13th for your pictures. 2018 is obviously the oldest remaining class at BCC, and we feel like we can't leave without another history lesson. What do you have for this last time, Manuel? Hey Marins, I'm back for one last round of history. I've unfortunately run out of episodes, so I'm going to attempt to summarize the rest of BCC history really fast. The big stories at BCC in the 50s are that the school was desegregated in 1954, and John F. Kennedy gave the commencement address at graduation in 1959. BCC in the 60s and 70s was like most schools at the time. BCC students who get involved in war protests, embrace hippie culture, and do lots and lots of drugs. In 1976, Montgomery County was one of the few school systems in the nation to start a busing program to bring in more minority students voluntarily instead of by court order. I also found this picture of BCC TV back in 1972 interviewing the Chinese national ping pong team in the TV studio. Why the Chinese national ping pong team was even at BCC to begin with, however, is another question entirely. I don't have that much information on the 80s through today because I don't have sources that go that far past 1980. What I can tell you is that before 2002, the school had been adding buildings. There had been renovations in 1950, 52, 59, 66, 70, 75, and 76. Then, between 2000 and 2002, the school went through the biggest addition yet that they called a modernization. They expanded the school, completely replaced most of the outdated mechanical systems, updated the gym and auditorium, and added lots of computer equipment, including the Cyber Cafe. But the most important thing is that it connected the buildings. You see, before this, the buildings were all separate and connected by these breezeways, but the modernization combined them. If you look at the satellite map, the entire B section of the building was added during renovation, linking the historic buildings into the one solid structure we have today. That's why the walls inside the atriums look like the outside of other buildings. It's because they were. Now since I started making these segments, I've had a lot of people come up to me and ask where I got all this information. When I first started researching for this segment, I went to the Media Center on a whim and asked if they had anything on the history of the school since I wasn't having much luck looking online. Turns out, there's a nondescript white binder behind the Media Center desk with printouts of a hugely detailed history of the school from 1925 to 1980. When I started reading it, I quickly realized that there was so much interesting stuff that happened at BCC that nobody knew anything about, and I knew I had to make these segments. Then they wouldn't let me check it out of the Media Center. So I decided I'd go to the URL listed in the printouts, www.montgomeryschoolsmd.org slash schools slash bcchs slash history.html, which apparently doesn't exist. My guess is that when they updated the website, it kind of got lost in the void and forgotten about. Good news is, I was able to find it using the Internet Wayback Machine, a tool for accessing older versions of websites. It was a huge help to me and an incredibly useful resource. I couldn't have made the segment without it, which is probably why MCPS decided to block it on school Wi-Fi halfway through my research. Also, a word to whoever is in charge of the school website. Please put it back. I know that the school loves blocking useful things, but please make an exception here. Students shouldn't have to jump through a million hoops just to do something as simple as read about the history of the school. Hopefully this segment will be enough to get it back on the website, but I'll link the archived version in the description of this episode just in case. Which brings me to the end. 
It's May 25th, meaning in just a few short days, I too will be BCC history. I know nobody knew who I was until a month ago, but that's because I was part of the incredible team that's been working tirelessly behind the scenes all year to make sure you guys get an episode every week. Trust me, they don't just appear. That's all for me, so long BCC, and thanks for a great four years. Thanks for the education and the editing all year, Manuel. While we admire history, let's not forget that 2018 has been making sports history all year. What's up with Barons Athletics this week, Maya and Joe? Hey Barons, we're back with our just our last week of sports. Man, this track season was maybe the best one I was a part of. This outdoor season was one to remember. After losing powerhouse Tosin the year to graduation, we thought our throwing team was lost. With sophomore Camilo Montoya and newcomer Alpha, I had something to say about that with both showing a lot of promise for a few years to come. With newcomers Fiona Kelleher and Shelby Fountain making states this year, it shows you how track will continue to be a powerhouse after this class has left its mark. Track has a state in me today and tomorrow, so make sure to wish many runners luck. After a very, very exciting and promising year, our softball season has come to an end. With the team going the farthest they have ever gone, with heroes such as senior Corey Davis delivering hit after hit this season, was such a thrill seeing you guys blow away the competition game after game. I won't be around next season, but many other people will, and BCC can promise them that softball will be good for a long time. After such an incredible run, the baseball season is also coming home. With powerhouse Howard winning an incredibly tight game against the Barons, that should prove that baseball will be a threat to every team in the state for a few years to come. We would all like to thank you for delivering BCC exciting games after exciting games. With many seniors leaving this year, we all say good luck and thank you. This year has been one of BCC's most memorable sports years. Here are two of the most memorable seasons of the school year. Unless you've been living under a rock, you're probably aware that our boys soccer team won the state championship against Severna Park High School. The boys kept the Eagles from scoring a single goal the entire game and clutched a goal in the last minute of the game. Congratulations to these defending state champions. I can't wait to see what you guys have in store for next season. Our girls basketball team also blew us away this season. They ended up at the state semifinals against Cattonsville High School after beating Richard Montgomery in an unlikely game 56-49. to Despite their season ending at the state semis, the girls had an amazing season. They won the 4A South Division title and also clinched the top seed in their section for the first time since Coach Ingalls has been coaching at BCC. Our girls also defeated our rivals Whitman for the first time since the 2010 season. Overall, thank you for the best season in BCC girls basketball history. See you guys next year. Overall, thank you so much for listening to me report all those hard-fought games this year. Shout out to all the athletes and sports teams for this truly memorable year of sports. Well, that's all I have for this year, Barons. And for the last time, back to you, Abby and Jay. <laughs> <laughs> thank you to Joe, Maya, all of our athletes, and our coaches for their great work this year. Yep, and while everyone has accomplished a lot this year, sometimes you just can't be perfect. Let's check out this year's BCC TV bloopers. I'm going to make myself Disappear! Thanks, Maya. Well, that's all for this week, Barons. Check back in next Friday for more news, updates. I messed that up. Alright, this is green screen test number one in three, two, one. Ten. <laughs> Then run away, my dudes! <laughs> Thanks for that, Maya. Well, that's all for this week, Baron. Check back in next Friday for more news, updates, I messed up. Where? Speaking of lacrosse, what's with the. Wait, also, that's good. That's good. You ready? Yep. How's life been, huh? <laughs> Dude, I'm so glad we're not live anymore because then nobody can see how many times you mess up every time you film something. Dude, tell him to shut up. Guys, can you stop talking for a hot minute, please? Thanks, sweetie. Oh, Canada. My whole native land. Please. Oh, I'm sorry. Was that really loud? Yeah. Last Tuesday, our basketball teams had games against Whitman, and they totally. <laughs> On Wednesday, our co-ed volleyball team played Bear Blair. Thanks for that, Maya and Joe. Well, that's all for this week, Barons. Check in back ne next. Okay. My underarms are sweating so much. Right? Oh my God! I was. Yeah. No. Can you really? Ryan. No, that's fine. I heard your voice.
They want me to be in the blooper reel, but I don't actually make mistakes, so this is going to be hard for me. Um, I'd like to bring in someone who makes a lot of mistakes so I can learn Abby. Abby. <laughs> pictures that I, ugh, I can't say pictures, why not? Hello Jay's mom. That's Jay's mom, Manuel. We're just filming, don't worry. Look, Jay's your mom. Close the door! Congratulations on having some of Michael! Michael! Oh my god, oh my god, Samantha! The boys' parents faced um, a very tough... I can't, that was disgusting. I'm sorry, I have to start over. Thanks. Okay, okay, this time I have it. I have it this time. Well, that's all for this week, Barons. Check back in next Friday for news. Oh, for all right, I need to be slow with it. For more news updates and humor, he makes it look really easy. Selena, Selena Quintanilla. Uh, Our basketball teams had absolutely amazing seasons, with the girls finishing their regular season with. Thanks, Grangy baby. Did I ever talk? <laughs> <laughs> On Monday, 27-year-old Akayar Ula. Oh, okay, yeah. Yes. Last weekend, our Palms teams placed second at the Watkinsville Invitational. Oh no. Let's get, let's get back. Down. Just cut through so many clips. No, it's okay. Nothing is as bad as the first episode. It'll be good. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna miss your random noises, Abby. And I'm gonna miss you hitting your hands together, Jay. Aw, I know our class is at least gonna miss some things about BCC. We've made some great memories. We asked seniors and teachers to describe some of their favorite moments and trends from these past four years at BCC. All right, so there's several people in this class of 2018 I'm gonna miss. It's a great class, one of the finest ever. But there's one in particular, hardworking, thoughtful, always uh, doing the best work they can in class, really creative in their thinking, bright, beautiful, redhead. I think you know who it is. Neil Hamwich. How about the buzzer beer? Oh my god. Yannick Alexis. That was, that was probably the coolest game I've gone to at BCC. Yeah. Something I don't think I'll ever forget. At the end of regulation, one of the Duval players had two free throws and because we were so loud, he missed both. Like, yeah, like you said, Baron Pride, my like, God. Do you remember the, <laughs> do you remember the uh, dead bird on the second floor tweets? <laughs> that was so funny, oh my God. Who ended up running that account? Oh you was yours account? Hey, it's your boy, all right, all right, all right. I think, I think the Nami boys. Freshman year. It was our freshman <laughs> Yeah, I remember Mr. No, it was sophomore year. Sophomore? Are you sure, because I remember? It was sophomore because that John got beat up. Second day of school, just transferred here from St. John's. Got run up on by the Navi boys, but you know, we don't go like that. One of my favorite moments this year was definitely working on and opening MoCat, um, especially seeing all of the support that our class gave it. It really encouraged me and everyone else on the MoCat team to really make something great. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> it was like an anonymous app where people would just like either say things roasting other people. Right. Yeah, no, yeah. you could travel around the county, you'd go like if you were near Churchill and you'd hear all the Churchill people. Churchill people, yeah. so funny. <laughs> Some of them were just so good though. You can't even like- You up arrow them. I can't even do it justice, yeah. Miss Locker was the best. Miss her. That day was pretty wild. Uh, people just got up, walked out of class. Um, they were tying themselves to the trees. It was, you went out there and people were screaming, they were chanting, they were holding up signs. People would thrust signs in your hand even if you didn't bring one. We had um, pep rallies outside instead of like at the gym. It's still cool and like I appreciate that, but it was just better back then. Football games. Football games. Is the rock out back yes. much better than yeah, the rock was, out front? Yeah, way better. Are you serious? I'm just so proud of how far our class has come since freshman year. Um, it's really interesting to see us all blossom into these real people, for lack of a better term. Uh, like that, we got each other's backs, and I think that's really cool that we're so tight-knit and we got a lot of school spirit. Your class, more than so, the past couple classes, really means a lot to me. 
whether it was from the shenanigans of Guy Hakimi, whether it was sitting after school talking about the hibbity hop with Jay Zim, or if it is my dear friend, Anna Jepson, who decided to prank me by taking my laser pointer and concealing it in gelatin and having it hand delivered by Mr. Fan. All these memories and more have just meant so much to me and it really just means a lot to see you all finally take that walk, go on to the next chapter of your lives because I know all of you, all of you are gonna do great, amazing things and I can't wait to hear about them. I can't wait for you to come and visit. Um, thank you guys so much for uh, four great years. It was a pleasure working with you guys, whether it was on the football field, in the classroom, in homeroom, or many of the other areas that our paths did cross. Uh, you guys always have a special place in my heart, and I am certain that you guys are going to accomplish some great things uh, in the years to come. Stay in touch. Wow. I'm so proud of what we did these four years and where we're all headed. Some students still have some more time left at Bethesda Chevy Chase High School. Let's meet the new cast of BCC TV. Whatever happened to predictability? The milkman, the paper boy, the evening TV. You miss your old familiar friends, but waiting just around the bend. Everywhere you look, everywhere there's you a heart, look, there's a heart. A hand to hold on to. Everywhere you look, everywhere there's you look. Well, it's been an eventful four years at Bethesda Chevy Chase High School, and this year we really went above and beyond in all of our amazing accomplishments. We made headlines more than ever for sports, mocat, activism, and we have a very impressive senior college list under our belt. It was so much fun getting to recap everything for you this year, Barons. From state titles to art, clubs, and classes, we all love recapping the year that Baron Pride was finally brought back to BCC in full force. As the younger grades enter the new building next year with a complete campus, a world of opportunity awaits. But do us a favor. Don't take a step back from all of our hard work this year. Make sure to keep the culture alive. Keep being the creative, forward-thinking, talented, and resilient school we know. Don't stop being the loudest student section in MoCo, pack the seats at plays, and most importantly, keep running Bethesda. Thanks for tuning in this season, Barons. All of this season's episodes are on our channel, as always. Well, that's all for this class, Barons. Check back in next Friday for more news, updates, and humor. Keep those standards high, BCC. And keep the Baron pride higher. I'm Abby Hopkins. And I'm Jay Zimmer. And, and for, for the, the last time, time we're, we're signing, signing off. off. Toodaloo.